everybody and welcome back to another UE5 PP Guru tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be looking at setting up a mirror. It's, uh, I'm getting to the point now where I want to sort of start coming up with some form of a main character uh, and changing that over. And I also want to start introducing a lot of things that the player won't be able to see but should be able to see in a mirror. Um, it will be integral to the storyline in small areas, not in big areas. It's a very small tutorial, basically. Uh, the first thing I did notice as well in the last episode when we were setting up the um, the gun bits and bobs is that if you pull it out and you change direction, the muzzle actually only sticks to one area. And I, it took me a little while to figure out, but if you... Uh, if we actually go into here, it'd be a lot quicker to find it. Uh, where's the muzzle flash? Here. Uh, if you find it now, it's only uh, it's only a, an issue for the rifle. It doesn't seem to be an issue for the pistol. Uh, if I do need to change this, I will later. But if you go to the core mesh and click on initial mesh mesh rotation and click on. Um, we want to inherit it to the parent. So click on that. So just type it in and it'll come up in inherit parent, save. And this completely fixes that issue. It was driving me mad for a while, but it is now completely fixed. I still need to work out how to change the camera. But once I figured that out, I will also put that in one of the future tutorials. But for now, let's work on the mirror. If you go into project settings, and just search in here, uh, reflection. We want to make sure that support global clip plane for planar reflections is ticked to true. Uh, we will need to restart, so restart and load up. But before we do, just change a couple of other settings. Make sure your reflection method is set to lumen. And then search for, um, we want to do motion blur. Make sure that's turned off. Uh, and then uh, restart. So once it's restarted, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, after what felt like, God, two hours, probably was only like 45 minutes, but we finally compiled all the shaders of the project and we are back in. So now that all those settings are set, we can create our material. So I'm gonna do it in the mirror asset folder. Call it uh, mirror underscore mat and open it up. Uh, on the uh, this details panel over here, we want to set a couple of things. Uh, we want to set where is it? We want to set high quality functions. This is under the forward shading. And we also want to set uh, planar reflections or planar reflections. Uh, hold three and click, and we will set all of these to one. Plug that into our base. And we want to get, just hold down one and just press three times. Uh, set this default to one and set this one's default to one and leave the bottom one as zero. Plug the first one into metallic, the second one into specular, and the zero into roughness. And that should be all set up for you. There we go. We've got ourselves a lovely reflective material. Uh, save that and close it. We shouldn't need it to be open anymore. Things might go a little bit slower just because the... Um, the shaders are still compiling. For some reason it compiles when you're loading up the project and then it recompiles after the project's open. It's, I don't know why it does that, It's, but it's fine. Just give it a chance and then we'll, we'll be back after. Okay, we can close that down now. Grab this. Go down to where the material is and just plug that into the correct material. Oh.
Now this looks great already. But there's no actual reflection. So to get that, we need to find a uh, planar reflection in here. Drag it in. Uh, it will bug out a little bit. Oh. So rotate it. Um, and 90 again. You basically want it to cover the mirror. Just um, desize it. And we just want it to cover our mirror. Now for whatever reason my scene's not actually um, um, Angled, angled correctly, I guess. Weird. Push it back. Um, pull it up. Just make sure it fits. Uh, and then we want to make sure it covers the whole of the mirror. There we go. Next thing, we just want to set a few things up so that it's correct to work. You can copy mine. So we want normal distortion to zero. Pre-filter roughness to zero. Uh, we want distance from plane to be zero and distance from plane to probably be about 200. Um, and then we just want to change. Uh, maybe search for it. I want to change screen percentage to uh, 100. There we go. And if we give this a play now, it should be working now. Oh, it's not. Okay, interesting. Okay, so I figured it out. There was one option I didn't click on in the um, project settings. If you go back to rendering, go to dynamic global illumination method, you need to change lumen to screen space beta. And when you come back on, press play, it should be like this. I did have to re-enter the um, planar reflection and, and scale it down again and set all the settings to what I said, but that was what I was missing. It is working, so you can see we've got a head cam even though we can't see it on our actual camera screen. So yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Um, yeah, wow, it's looking really good. So yeah, if you want to have a mirror in your game, that's how you do it. Thank you so much guys for watching. If there's any other tutorials or um, things you want to know, please let me know in the comments. If not, uh, please like, subscribe. It really helps me out. And you can always change your mind down the line. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.